I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please You're accept not. this echo communication device and heads up display. Are you sure? Provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. You're talking to Claptrap, right? Yeah, you are. But usually the game you start off on the bus and all that. Maybe it's because we're playing multiplayer and then you choose your character. Or maybe it's maybe it's just what happens when you first start the game. I can't remember. Great! I detected your no, I was on the bus before. This way, please. I started oh, were you? this character. Yeah, yeah. Started this all character right. got to about there. Sorry, over here. A little chest. Then you invited here. me. So we got a shotgun and a huh. pistol. Um, I can give you the pistol if you want. Yeah, sure. Level two though, but yeah, it's fine. Thank you. And I'm gonna try and attempt a one life run, and you can do whatever you want. Or. <laughs> Oh jeez, yeah, okay. I, I yes. myself am going to try and do a whole run through without dying, so I'm going to play it real safe. Alright, oh god. That's the thing about this game, eh? you gotta you got to prompt the actions and stuff of the characters. If you yeah. run too far, then yeah, it doesn't, um, I don't know, it's like a sink in the game, eh? Yeah, it's really weird. It's like the game clicks when you like move here and then goes on to the next part. Alright, I want to change my skin. Mordecai. I'm gonna go one life. One life, Mordecai. <coughs> Black, blue. <coughs> Do you know what I named my character? What did you name it? Infinite Life. Infinite Life, and I'm One yeah. Life Morty. I'm gonna put the uh, tinfoil hat on. Got the tinfoil oh. hat on, dude. Oh. Yeah, bro. They're they're definitely listening. Fucking aliens and. You know? Do you have a Tim Foil hat as well on that character, or is it just this? No, one? I don't. Well, I have macaroni and cheese hat. What? It's yep. fucking weird. Let's go. I'm just going to turn my sound up to my headphones. Fun, you lost it. Let's go. More pistols. You can have them if you want. That's also another thing I didn't like about Borderlands 3 is they changed the um uh claptrap's voice 
It sounds real weird. It doesn't sound like claptrap. Whereas in Borderlands 1 and 2, um, it sounds like this. Yeah. It sounds like way different. It, I don't know. It just puts me off claptrap. Like, I used to like him. He used to be one of my favorite characters. Now he just sounds weird. Oh god, I missed again. Pulling out the shoddy. Oh god, I missed again. Trash bar. Trash. Oh yeah, I forgot about these golden keys. Do you still have do a you bunch have, in your account? Do you, do you have them? Do you have them? Nah, I've got zero for some reason. I right, thought I zero. had a bunch. PlayStation? Can't remember. Maybe it is PlayStation. But yeah, I might, um, I might get some of those keys. So I can get some uh, decent loot. It's on our PlayStation accounts, remember? We have fucking... Get all the key things. Yeah, I'll do it at like tomorrow or something. I can't even bother right now. Give it a go from the switch out there, would you? I'll just still win a mic. Thirty. Now that you've selected a mission, you will notice that a new icon has appeared on your head. My brain hurts because of what the controls are for this game. Is it one of those? Uh, it's just different. Different from the other games. Did you yeah, play the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Kyo Ken one or whatever it was? Kakarot, the like oh, yeah, Kak yeah, yeah, the Kakarot one. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Better than the Xenoverse. Uh, or just its own. Well, thing. Xenoverse, I can fight other people, so that's kind of huge. <clears throat> But it's kind of more of like a, like an RPG. Like you have to get experience to level and collect a certain currency or whatever to like be able yeah. to push your skill tree. Yeah, because I remember the uh, old ones. It was like Budokai or something, and you used to do the campaign and like level your character up and stuff, and like find items and stuff. It was, it was quite cool. I think you and Matt used to play it, Dylan. Like what? Budokai or whatever Dragon Ball Z game we had on. Budokai, Tenkaichi like, 3, two, whatever. Tenkaichi 2 and 3. Oh yeah, it might have been that. Right oh, Budokai 3, Tenkaichi and 2 the, the and the one three, where yeah. you would like do the campaign and like level yourself up and stuff. and. I think so, yeah. Do your stats and all that. I chose the last boss without taking a single hit on my first attempt. It was fucking satisfying, bro. I got so good at that game. <laughs> I got so... My mate Kyle was sitting next to me. Just I put the control down. He's just like, you've had enough. You've had enough for today. And I was like, I think so. We <laughs> were just taking turns, like, going through the campaign. Like, fight each. It just so happened to be me in the last fight. And I was like, why would it be buzzy if I smashed him? He didn't even touch me. And he's like, bullshit. So I did it, and he was like, fuck off, cut. I did it with trucks. He has this mean, like, rush combo, and then it, like, uh, smashes them back, and then you can just fucking beam them, and then you can just rush combo them again, and then power up, and just do the same thing I just said over and over again, they just can't touch you. They can either block or teleport, but they I ain't that smart. Apparently that game has like over 180 people in a day. What, playable characters? Yes. Fuck, that's way and more than they give give us now, eh? Hey? And, uh, like and they brought back the handle. What Ifs as well, which is really cool. Because I used to play the What Ifs, and they were fucking some of the bit. They were literally probably some of the better fights. Broken. What do you mean, so, What Ifs? It's like, what if, um, such in a situation, like, say if somebody else turned up instead of somebody else, like one of the heroes oh, turned up yeah. instead of somebody else, like Vegeta instead of Goku, 
or like yeah. Gohan. Yeah, like of Vegeta Goku. turned Super Saiyan That's against pretty Vegeta cool. instead of Goku. Yeah, instead of, yeah, Vegeta turning Super Saiyan instead of Goku first. Yeah, that kind of shit. It's so Why don't they do that now? No, they do. They did it now. They oh. did it now. Oh, you mean like the water? There is kind of like a water saga, um, an anime on YouTube. There's no, but like in the um, games and stuff. What's so about? there's kind of some stuff like that in Xenoverse. Yeah. There's like a whole s story set of missions where like, uh, they can two different things can happen in in the in that particular mission. Where there's like different people involved, or you know, people are doing transformations they shouldn't be doing, or whatever. And uh, depending on which characters you can use, there's like certain things that can happen as well. Yeah. It's not really like a huge deal, but to complete all the stuff, you have to do it with like so many characters. Actually. <coughs> But that, that, like, those aren't really as as crazy as, like, some of the other, like, what if stories from the old games. Like, I think my favorite one yeah. was, um, in the first Raging Blast game, one of the what if stories was, it's like a Super Saiyan 3 bargain sale, I think is what it's called, the mission. Yeah. And so you're playing Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and you fight, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Oh, well, Super Saiyan 3 really exists in that game, and he has a a thing that you can get for him that makes him, like, fucking retarded. You just don't flinch from, like, regular attacks, so pretty much you just get in their face and press the X button until they can't do anything about it anymore, and then you win. Because you're still pressing the X button. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think I've seen that move before. He, he literally just stands there and you can just do whatever you want. Like, it's uninterrupted attacks. <laughs> so you want me to share, huh? Do you want that shotgun? It's not better than mine. Yeah. Oh no. Shotgun's pretty good at low level, it's probably better than your <laughs> repeater. One shot oh, yeah, no, if you get a good. crit. Um Usually, most of the time, the repeaters and stuff are pretty trash, unless you get a legendary or something. The revivals are okay. But yeah, that sort of makes me like want to go back and play those old Dragon Ball Z games, you know? They're fantastic, Rory. Like, because that's what everyone says, uh, like, watching videos on YouTube and all that is uh, Budokai and the, all that stuff, they're way better than um, I do not stuff. know the name of the first Dragon Ball Z game I played, but I do recall what it was. I had a chipped PlayStation and my, my dad got me like a bunch of like PC CDs, bro, and they had games on them, like single games, and they just like jumped into the PlayStation and it worked. But yeah, one of them was the fucking um, Dragon Ball Z game, bro, and it was insanely good for its time. Yeah. It was just crazy. I remember showing Maddie, and he's just like, "Oh, because you couldn't buy it. You can, you can buy Dragon Ball Z games like that year, whatever that year was." I was like, a "Kid, crazy." It wasn't on sale in, in our country at all. It was like, "How'd you get this?" And I was like, "Well, I got a chip PlayStation." Yeah, there's actually like a turn-based RPG on Super Nintendo. That's don't go for there, Dom. Oh yeah, that's right. He will fuck you up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what was that? He's pretty What's strong. It? Yeah, I know he is. I said there was a, <coughs> a Dragon Ball Z game, or Dragon Ball, I guess, in Japan, that was a, a turn based RPG on it. It was on Super Nintendo. You? Yeah. One more step and it'll be your last. <laughs> You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> oh, TK. You're not a skag, are you? No? Well, lucky you. I only shoot skag. Mostly anyway.
But yeah, that's something I would be sort of interested in buying is I've had a look into those modded consoles and stuff and they they look quite cool. Like an yeah. Xbox 360 and all that and it just gives you all the games. And it has its like own menu and stuff. Soul has a modded you... Xbox One, bro. Yeah. Xbox original, Xbox original modded. It's got like a blue interface. It's all of, it's all the same menu. Yeah, like though. even something, even something like that. Oh, is that you is... can go back and play he has all the OG all. games. He has every fucking single Xbox game that ever came out on that Xbox. It is wild, bro. He's got like a full I on hard drive on it. I kinda wanna see it. I wanna go to his house and see it. But you can, bro. It was fucking... Show you one time. And... You should come around for a jam. Go around yeah, and play well. guitar at his house like literally two to three times a week. You just like play guitar, or he makes beats and shit, and then like have a jam on the gat, and then we play some Xbox. Shit. Yeah. I'd love to see that Xbox. It's been shown me once I before. I would so, yeah, be oh. interested in getting one. It's it looks mint, bro. It's like pristine as fuck. How, how much did he pay for that? Or did he do it himself? Um, he nah. So I think he paid like a couple hundred bucks for it back in the day when he did it. But like it's his own Xbox he bought like out of the store and then he got chipped and uh, just got it like fully modded. It was cool. My PlayStation One was modded, bro. One of one of the PlayStation Ones I had. Oh, you have no idea, bro. Nothing, it's nothing wrong with mods. No, it just I do. I couldn't play online. I was a kid. All it does is just enhance the game experience. It, did, it wasn't even mods no for the games. It was just to be able to play the games. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like didn't have to buy them. I just chipped. Xbox. They were just downloaded from the internet by, I guess, adults at the time, and then put on the fucking discs, and then just given to me. And I was like, yo. So who who oh. did that? I can't, I don't even know, bro. I was a kid, man. Like, I just made me, yeah, my, my old man just gave me a PlayStation and be like, yo, this is your PlayStation, blah, blah, blah. He's like, if you want any games, just tell me. And then, like, I'd see him every now and again, he'd just bring me games, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I had, like, 20 or 30 games for he gave me. Oh, that's a good sniper for our level. Can't Good. buy it. It costs too much. 3.7k. I don't have the money for it. Unfortunately. But yeah, the snipers in this game are pretty lackluster until you get like the legendary ones. Yeah, I know. They're, they're pretty av. Like even, like I can snipe pretty well in Borderlands 2, but this one. I'm absolutely horrendous like that that game i can like go around and just quick scope everything but in this one yeah i like i like the sniper in borderlands too it's cool yeah it's it's real good in that game smooth bro i wish more games were like that i'm just hoping 4 is more based on borderlands 2 style than borderlands 3. Yeah, even though i want it to be it's his own thing but I would prefer if it was they got more ideas and stuff from Borderlands 2. Because that's it their was just golden so, game. So so good. Oh, so good for 2012. That was that was the game of the year, I'm pretty sure. Like that was so good. I was pretty done it's playing Halo of... by then, eh? I was like, fuck man, I need a break. Glad that game that came was, out. That was one of the best games I've ever played, Borderlands 2. Yeah, yeah. That, in that, that's that, it's in my top five games. Yeah. Um, maybe even like fucking like second or third, probably. Well, what's Favorite the best game? game? Like, what do you reckon? Ah, uh, I really liked Halo Reach. Oh, I have to rate that. Eh? Probably the I, best game I I've have, played. I have to rate that as. Probably just because... I've probably spent, Probably like, Booster just because of all the years we dominated. Well, all the friendships and yep. the game and Just, just all the conversations, just... everything, yeah. It was just peak Halo. I'm, I'm super... Yeah, I know, I was, was super peak. biased. But I came from four, uh, three. I came from three. 
play till four. Yeah, I never I played like, three nah. online till um, it was MTC. cool. Yeah, it was cool. Work. I was fucking hunting uh, Brad Pitt before his name was Brad Pitt. It's fucking great, man. He was good back then, by the way, too. It's because everyone was it's... bad. Well, <laughs> well now everyone I mean stepped is... up their game. What I mean by that is, like, he actually used the BR back then and doesn't even DMR now. He's a bitch. It was good playing the other day, actually, with the boys. Yeah, I know. It was actually good to get back into Halo and, like, have a jam. And even though we lost some games and stuff. Um, do you want the SMG or the pistol? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Sure. Pistol's pretty good. Yeah, you take it. I don't need it. No, I don't need that either. Ooh, I don't really yeah, care I'll about weapons too much. I That's... just need like one or, one or two good weapons, so I'm pretty good. That sniper's all, like, twice awful. as good as mine. Um, did we pick up the other weapons for the other, other missions, or do we have to come back? I'm not sure if Nine Toes has a dedicated drop. Like, we could farm him if you wanted to. You are about to face your first real challenge. Yeah, I don't know if it's dedicated, but you can get that weapon from well, him. Well, I, I know, I know you can get. I know, well, you get it every time. Coffin. Every time you kill him, you get that blue weapon. But his skags, I'm pretty sure, drop like purple shields and stuff. Oh no, she got an assault rifle. Yeah, I'll run uh, SMGs and uh, rock guns and pistols. Probably gonna go sniper, shoddy. Um, I will run a sniper. Because it's, I it's, like it's the better. It's better to focus on like yeah, no, four no. guns. So I definitely go SMGs. Oh, hold on, yeah, let, yeah, me, let me let me SMGs. Before you fucking do anything, good sir. SMGs are best for Lilith, like. Shotguns are pretty good in this game. Assault rifles are meh. There's a couple of good ones at end game. Uh, God, he was, when I saw him for the first time, I thought like, when I saw this, I was, I was just like, this is going to be a cool game. <laughs> I was like, this game is going to be insane. Montage is dead. Goodness. Go away from me, thank you. Oh, purple sniper. Oh nice, take it. Oh take bro, it. that's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Really slow though. Doesn't matter, it does a lot of damage. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Oh, there's another, oh, another sniper. one. Oh, take it. Was it better? Give me the other one that isn't good. Hang on, I want to test them both, and then I'll give you Yeah, one. test them both, test them both. And then there's this, if you want it. Flame uh, weapon? Your elemental. Yeah, sure, sure, I will actually take it, sure. Why not? Um, SMG. Take the repeater if you want the SMG. Yep. Then just let me test these snipers out. So we have the higher damage one. The fire rate's trash on both of them. I think... 
I think they're nearly identical except one of them does slightly more damage. Yeah, so you can have that one then. Oh, shit. Look at that. oh it's Jacob's. Hot but yeah, if, if you really wanted to, we can come back here and kill the skags, and they have a high chance of dropping purple items. Like shields and stuff. Oh. Sorry, Rory. My bad. Come back down. How do you go down? Do it. Yeah, it's pretty slow, but it's quite hard hitting though. It's got huge crit damage as well. You must listen. Uh, Who I am is not important. What don't the first I thing need? You must know, the vault is real. People will mislead you. They will try to use you. Storage upgrade and head on. The vault is here, and we will Storage upgrade. This yeah, and the ammo thing? Dangerous. Oh. Steal yourself. yourself more SMG Go. ammo or whatever. Oh man, okay, so I was right, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this game where there's like forking paths in the story mode. Uh it's basically depend on how your fight goes. The story will change somewhat. That's kind of cool. So it's almost like a Mass Effect thing where different dialogues and interactions and choices change the game. Well, I'm so not you'll sure fight, you'll quite fight yet, different people because of different choices. Wait, say, does it actually change the game? Or is it just is, different fighting? Is, or is it just like different believe, ending believe... or something? God damn it, let me talk for one second. <laughs> 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 okay, I got, I've only done three fights, okay? Uh, the, the Raditz fight, you fight Nappa, and then you fight Vegeta. And I backed out and I looked at the stuff, and if you don't beat. There's a, a fork in the path on the rabbit's fight where whether you beat him in, in the elapsed time or not. But the the story map is like a you know, it's like a line of, on a series of events, and on that part it just shows the fork in the path. So I don't know if that leads to like potentially a dead end with stuff related to that per se, or if it you know there's episodes that keep going based off of what happens and there's like a whole bunch of forks towards the end kind of thing and I really don't know how far it goes yet. Okay, that's quite interesting to know. I'm all scared. There's also a chest over here. Yeah, it, can we grab that thing while we're here? We uh, no, we, we have to come back. It's, um, we kill nine toes and then we get the, um, next set of missions, which we'll come back. Okay, I've got another SMG, and I'll take the assault rifle. Oh, did you not pick up a shield? Nah. Oh, you should have bought one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But yeah, we'll just have to come back here. Which is fine.
So, what do I want? Critical hit damage or just straight sniper rifle damage? All players on your team, including you, gain additional experience when you kill an enemy with a critical hit. <laughs> kind of want that. There's a skill that does XP, right? For your character? Me. Yeah. Should be on the sure? left side. Like Check a bunny out. rabbit one or whatever. Mm. Ah. Pull down. Should be in the left tree, or maybe the middle one. Yeah, and it gives middle. you like some type of XP. Yeah, it is team experience. Intuition. Should we run it? Yeah, probably should, because I I'm gonna go the left tree. And I'll, I'll get I'll get um the XP one, so whenever all players on your team, including you, gain additional experience when you kill an enemy with a critical hit, the bonus will go up to 15%. Yeah, so yeah, that's I'll quite, that's quite a lot of extra XP. That's the elemental tree anyway, so I may as well run that. Oh, sweet it is. Yeah, it's the elemental tree, so let's do that. Yeah, I can run that, because that's fine, because guess what else it gives me? 10% movement speed. Down for that. Is that for the whole team as well, or...? Nah, me. Oh, just you. Yeah, bolt. But you still get team experience, so. Oh, do I get team experience, but no movement? Yeah. Oh, then that's fine. Yeah. Right, you ready to go to the next place? Sure. <clears throat> How long do you reckon I should do these episodes? Of playing Borderlands, like half an hour, or because it's already been half an hour. Has it been half an hour? Yeah. Like, do oh, I just cut it? it? Do I just cut it and then make a new one from where we've left off here? I go for an hour. I don't know. How long, however long you want it. I don't know because we're already playing too. So. Oh, what the fuck? Does each character have their own goddamn story? Yes. Of course they do, they're a fucking person. Bro, yeah, but like... I have a I'm... story booster. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> no. Don't have a fucking story. What's your story, Boosa? <laughs> yeah, what is your story, Boosa? I don't... I don't have a story. I'm a ninja, remember? Oh, damn. That's what I'm gonna do, buy some more ammo, ammo upgrades. <laughs> but yeah, we should probably do all the side missions and stuff, um, yeah. before we go and kill that other dude. Cause he's quite agreed. tough. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I guess I guess I was playing Goku's story, so now I'm uh, going to do this story. Oh, where does it start? Uh, oh shit! Apparently, during the Frieza saga. Yeah. I'm about to get um, the first fight is Pui Pui. Kick Pui Pui's ass on Namek. Uh, yeah, go on, do it. Who's Pui Pui? You don't even know he's... half of it. <laughs> he's uh, one of Frieza's soldiers that's like notoriously super weak, but also he he's picked on Vegeta like the entire time. Vegeta's he's been in the not. Forest. He's <laughs> not a part of that squad that like does that stupid dance. So... No, not. He's no, not part of the really? Ginyu, mm -hmm. Ginyu Force. He's just yeah. like a soldier in the Frieza yeah. army. Is he the yeah. red character with, like, the white hair? No, is that's that Jason. Another... He's part of the Ginyu Force. Um, so basically, there's another two people that aren't part of the Ginyu Force, but they're Freezer's henchmen, and that is uh, Zarbon and Dodoria. 
Yeah. And there's actually another two henchmen, by the way, that are on another planet that are stronger than Zarbona de Doria, and if they were on Namek, then they would have tosed fucking Super Saiyan Goku up. Because they're stronger than that. I wonder if there's a what-if about it. Well, they should make a what-if about it. Because yeah, I've watched a... Uh, I don't know if it's a movie or an episode about it. These two fucking... Two warriors that are, like, pretty fucking strong. Oh, have you, um... Have you watched the rest of Dragon Ball Heroes? On YouTube? Uh, I think so. What if... So they they, they have, well. like... They've got, like, 40, 50 episodes now, and you can just sit there through the whole playlist. Someone's got a whole playlist of it now. So you don't have to skip, mm. um, and, like, into each it's individual 10-minute... Like yeah, so it goes on for, like... An hour is like a whole like movie. It's quite cool. Yeah. Go be down. Yeah, that I thought was quite cool. That's fan made, eh? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The what ifs. Because there's a bunch of shit that doesn't happen. Like you, you're not gonna see fucking. Like, well, these there's fusions endless. And shit. There's endless scenarios that can happen. You know, like. It's. And like fusions and stuff, like what happens if this person fuses with this person as well, or, you know? <laughs> yeah, the what if fusions were pretty great back in the day. Like Tantra. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tantra? Who's that? Kamikolo. <laughs> Kamikolo? Is that Krillin yeah. and Piccolo? Yeah. What does he look like? Like a midget um, Namekian? Yeah. With like oh, dots on God. his forehead and, and the fucking, um, yeah, it's buzzy. <laughs> He's and, like, got the little... Dragon Ball dots on his forehead. Yeah, he does. Jeez. Kind of funny. Uh, so, Tiancha was Tian and Yamcha, and he was a fusion that was in, uh, I think Budokai 2. Yeah. It might have been Budokai 3. There was also, uh, Goku. <laughs> oh, you yeah, are new to that. That shit was fucking hilarious. Did you see the, uh, another person from the team of the Dragon Ball Z universe died? Oh, who's that? Um... Fuck, I can't remember his name. Um... Voice actor, I think. Boss. Oh, the voice actor. I think I saw that. I can't remember who it was, though. Yeah, I can't quite remember right now. He passed away as well. But yeah, they're pretty old, eh? Because when they first started Dragon Ball Z, they were like 20, 30s. 30s, probably. And how long ago was that? Like 20, 25 years ago? Uh, 50 years ago, bro. 40, 40 years ago, again? Easy. What, Dragon because... Ball Z came out 40 years ago? Oh, I'm Dragon Ball Z with Dragon Ball. Really? Yeah, bro, in the 80s, I thought before it was, I was like even the... born. I thought it was like 90s. No, 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 we got, uh, we got after it came out. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z was like around when I was a kid, bro, like when I was born. Yeah, because I don't think I actually watched Dragon Ball fully, but I've watched Dragon Ball Z. It just didn't get broadcast all about, in our country. That's all about um, when he's a kid, eh, and he goes through like the tournaments and yeah, stuff like that. Same with the uh, GT. I didn't watch all of that either, but I love Super though. I watched all of that. That's that's got to be my favorite one. Alright, this yeah, boss Super is was a... pretty good, eh? Super was yeah. pretty, pretty good. This boss is pretty, um... Pretty hard. But I'm sure we can, uh... I'm sure we'll be fine, Dolan. I'm up here, though. So... Oh, 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 calm down, sir.
That's their names. Rook home. And it rhymes with doom. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna be oh, all, all too soon. And Donald. Donald, I can't actually make any promises on that one, you know? Is just the eating him there. It's pretty easy, honestly. You just said it was pretty hard, Rory. Wow, I just can't remember. What was that? So nice. Ooh. Do you want it? I'll be down. I need it. It's a nice shield. I need it. I'm fucking rocking the most basic. Yes, most please. basic, basic bitch shield. Oh, bro, it is. Like, like look at this. I didn't even want to pick it up. Yeah, so do I. I'm, I've probably got the same one. Oh, your one's better. Oh. God, my it. one's worse. <laughs> no, take it then. Nah, it's that elemental damage is so good against them, eh? The uh, dot damage. Just mounts early game. Really does. Um, so those two are done, and then we just got the flower. And have that. Yep, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go do those. Run here. Oh, there's a badass one. Can you get your flame weapon on him? I don't have it on. I equipped. Yeah, get that dot damage on him. Yeah, I'm trying to try get rid of the engine. Pretty much dead. Got him. Got him. Got him. This motherfucker has so much goddamn health. That no shield. My power. Take it. I don't need it. Alright. There's a couple more people down here. Oh boy. Oh. 
Ooh. I think I got that dude that was jumping, maybe. Not it. Oh no, grab me Dylan! One more one life. Oh, so am I. I need to... oh. Grab me, grab yes. me, grab me! Both of us haven't died yet, so this this shotgun's actually terrible, and that's what it says. It's a terrible shotgun. I don't know why you're why you up here believing anything other than it was terrible. Well, it was pretty good up until this area, but yeah, it was a starting shotgun. So use the uh, machine gun. Usually another one in here as well, Rory. Make sure it'll come around the corner, the badass. Maybe not. Maybe it spawned ahead of time. Let's go down here, yeah. but it's way over leveled <clears throat> I just wish this one had way more fire rate it's it's so slow yeah, if it had fast if it was like twice as fast it'd be neat yeah it would be real good uh, oh there it is get your flame okay. thing out Yeah, that is just dealing damage to him, eh, that plan. Not bad. Good, good, good shit. Bad. Melting. How's game treating you so far? That's pretty good. Nah, dude, the, the controls got me so fucked up though. <laughs> like, what's different about it? Is it just the, what you're used to with the other games? Yeah, I mean... Xenoverse and Kakarot are more or less the same uh, with the controls. Like, I think a couple buttons are flipped around. Yeah. Which is weird at first, but it's, I don't know, it's not too bad. I'll get used to this in like a short amount of time, but it, what's really fucking me up is that block is the right bumper. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what is it in the other game. Uh, I 
think it's left bumper and zoom green. Which is now like fly up or jump. Can you remap the buttons or is it set in stone? Surely you can remap the buttons so you can have. They usually, what they do, if they change the settings in a game, they'll give you the original settings of another game or put like a title of another game in uh, that's in the same genre or yeah. like different dragon. You know what I mean? Because that's what yeah, they do with like guess. Halo and stuff. There's like the normal one, which are the, which is the current controls. And then there's like classic, which I think is supposed to be more similar to the like the old like Tenkaichi type games. But I don't. It's yeah. been so long, I don't remember what the controls are exactly. So. Hmm. Upgrade my ammo. Just gonna spend all my money on ammo upgrades. I think I just didn't upgrade the launcher and then that was it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, motherfucker. I'm uh, pretty keen on getting some over eats, so. Turn in these uh, set of missions, Dylan, and then I'm going yeah. to cut the video, and then we can yep. start the next one if you want to continue to play, because it's nah, already been like nearly an hour. Nah, that's fine. I'm gonna, I gotta wind down because I gotta go to bed in the next like hour or so, about okay. an hour, about an hour, and I get some to eat. So we can uh, play this tomorrow or something. Yeah. Get a booster in the party again, so you can become a uh, superstar. Have no fear. I'm already a superstar, people just don't know about me yet, that's all. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, sounds like a them problem, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think it's got something to do with the... Ooh. Ooh. They're behind me too. So. Those guys are gonna come up, but they're not. Uh, we'll probably kill. They, yeah, they usually come in every time you go back into the map. Yeah, in here. Oh no, there they Reset are. They've, they've, they've popped up on the um, map. Wait. My map wasn't showing before, it was like blank.
Catch a road. Bonehead. Do you want to go fight him or not? Um, or we just cut it? Yeah, yeah, I reckon, I reckon just fight go him fight and him. then the next episode can be after this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, fine. We'll just finish with the boss. Just finish the, uh, the area. I'm pretty sure this is the last mission to the area. It shouldn't be too hard that we're level 10 now, but... Where is he? Oh, he's here. You worry. I guess we headshot him. Can't even hit him. It's so hard to snipe on this game, I reckon. Quick scope him. Not easy when you quick scope him. Gonna pull out the assault rifle. You know, he dead anyways. I'll grab you. Yeah, all good. He's dead. I thought I was gonna prop him with the fire and then kill him, but that's uh, fine. What does he drop? Oh, an SMG, the bone shredder. Yeah, we should kill him again and do back on it. Good. Yeah, we'll do it um We'll do it next episode. Yeah. B you can pick up the uh first one. Which your character's primarily based around SMGs. But yeah, if we do wanna farm it, um we can get a better one. And then we can also duplicate it as well. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, and that's something I forgot. Is that, yeah, we can um, duplicate all of our gear and stuff. So any gear that we've found that's good, um, we can just share it. Like a legendary and stuff. <clears throat> all you gotta do is drop it, oh, uh, save, and then drop it, and then just dashboard. Yes, correct. Or, or you can kick someone out of the, um... A game. Either all works. Yeah, I think that's it, man. Just turn in this mission and then that's it. Indeed, indeed. Those people respawned there again. But yeah, I must be a little bit ahead of you in the levels because of the um, challenges. Oh, I have to yeah. Huh? Alright. Ah, that's it. Oh, we've got like my. And, uh... Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you in uh, episode two with One Life Morty. With my older brother Dylan. And Boosa in the party. Alright, catch you guys later.